Walking in a graceful and sophisticated way is an art and goes far beyond just moving your body from A to B. The right graceful and sophisticated walk can give you charisma, confidence and is also a reflection of self-love and self-care. But if you commit certain very common mistakes, those mistakes will diminish all your efforts to walk gracefully and elegantly. That's why in this video I will reveal the most common mistakes that we do and at the same time I will give you a class on how to walk in a sophisticated way. Hello my dear viewers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malena and if you are new here I warmly welcome you. But now let's start with the most common mistake number one. Avoid walking without rhythm. I'm talking about rhythm here and this might sound a bit abstract and it's not because I'm a dancer and I've been a dance teacher that rhythm is so important to me. But it is really important to walking elegantly and gracefully. So in this area the most common mistakes that women do is for example to walk too fast or to change the velocity of your walk while walking. So walking in a discoordinated and chaotic way. Instead, a constant rhythm gives your walk not only confidence but also elegance. The second mistake women do in this area of rhythm is to push their heels too much to the floor and put also more weight on the heels because this produces a quite loud and sometimes aggressive sound and of course that's the opposite of walking gracefully and in a sophisticated way so instead of that always roll your feet from the heel to the front and this way you will walk much more fluidly with secure and firm steps the third thing here is to avoid walking in a disorganized way. So either walking with your legs too much apart or walking with your legs too much across because all of this looks grumpy and, and really not graceful. So instead walk on a line or almost on a line. Together with the steady and secure rhythm, your walk will appear very fluidly and gracefully. Mistake number two, uncontrolled arm movement. Don't hold your arms too far away from your body when you walk. And also don't hold them with your palms facing outwards. Instead, hold them near to your body and your palms always facing inwards. Another mistake in this area is to have to stiff arms. It is important to maintain a fluid and very relaxed arm movement that looks natural and just in harmony with your steps and with your walk. So avoid uncoordinated movement of the arms. Avoid moving them independently from what your legs are doing. If you just let them relax, let them hang and move on their own, they will move in synchrony with your steps.
Number three, avoid the wrong posture. It is a very basic but very common mistake that can instantly make you look grumpy, bored, sad or even sick. So you should always avoid to walk around with a rounded back, with slouched shoulder. Always use an upright position. Roll your shoulders back and elevate your upper body. Imagine that a string is going through your spine and is like pulling you upwards. But also the opposite is wrong. So you should not overstretch your chest and walk with a very arched back because that also looks very, very wrong and strange. When you walk with an upright posture, your breathing will also be more calm and this will give you a whole different appearance you will look more relaxed because of that when i say upright i don't mean that you should pull your head and your chin up too high because when you do that it will not only be bad for your neck but it will also look mm, aggressive or even arrogantly so always maintain your chin in a neutral position so although you are upright, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax your hips and relax your knees. Your whole body should be straight but relaxed. Mistake number four, avoid disbalance. Balance is another thing that is important when you want to walk in a graceful and elegant, sophisticated way. So the mistake that happens here quite often is that women, especially when they are wearing heels, but also sometimes in other types of shoes, distribute their weight unequally. So it happens that they put too much weight to the front of the feet and this will not only produce a lot of pain but it also changes your posture you stand leaning too much to the front so it is important to distribute your weight equally on the feet and when turning an elegant way to turn just to lift the heel and turn over the front feet this looks quite soft and fluidly and is also used in modeling. Another tip for better balance is to use the T figure for resting or for standing in between. So this is a basic pose for pictures also. And it's quite easy. You simply put the weight on the back foot and position the front foot in the front diagonally. This not only makes a slimmer figure and also produces an hourglass figure, but also makes your legs appear longer and that way you can relax one foot or the other. Number five, avoid bad facial expressions. If you forget about your head and what your face is doing when you are walking, 
you can pretty much ruin the whole picture and all your beautiful posture and walk. So always maintain your face frontal when you're walking, your head high but neutral and have a relaxed and friendly expression. A secret tip is to smile and you don't have to smile extremely but just a little bit just so that you have a very nice friendly and open expression. This will complete the whole picture and you will simply appear very gracefully in a sophisticated way when you walk. If you like this kind of content, I recommend you to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in walking and posture in general, I recommend you to watch my playlist on posture. I will link it here so that you can watch it afterwards. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And now I recommend you to watch this video here. In that video, I am teaching you more with regard to good posture. Thank you for watching and bye bye. <laughs>